The district attorney's office, we take crime and crime prevention very seriously, and we have to reach our youth before they turn to a life of crime. For every person that we send to prison, at one point that was a kid, and that was a kid at a crossroads. Our unrehabilitated delinquent youth today will become our criminal adult tomorrow. And if we truly are committed to safer communities tomorrow, we need to focus on our youth today. I think all of us who work in this office understand that, but for a couple different people in our lives, we would be these kids. And we understand that we are these kids. We just had people that coached us along the way, and it's our opportunity to give back to them and help these kids. A lot of our youth, when they get involved in crimes very, very young, don't realize that when they're 20, 25 years old, they're still gonna be affected by the decisions that they made when they were 13, 14 years old. If we're serious about bringing the crime rate down for the people of Riverside County, we have to be serious as well about crime prevention and then reaching into our community to reach our youth before they take a wrong path that leads them to a life of crime. This is a very exciting time for the Riverside County District Attorney's Office, where we have a group of attorneys that are dedicated full time on a county-wide basis to engage in crime prevention and intervention efforts. I run Roman Reed in the juvenile hall facility, which is kind of a unique opportunity for a prosecutor to be working with kids that our office has incarcerated. What we do in our program is I will bring in about 20 to 30 books every week in the juvenile hall. And these kids are defiant. They're not the type of kids who excel in school. They usually get straight Fs and are proud of it. So we go from having kids who have read not a single book in their entire life to kids where we work with them for six months to 12 months and they've actually read over 10,000 pages of literature. That's kind of the approach of the Crime Prevention Unit is figuring out how we adapt to these kids in their environment not try to come at them in some sort of rigid way where they have to do what we tell them to do, but figure out how we can work together to achieve a common goal. Another one of our crime prevention unit programs is the GAME program, which stands for Gang Awareness, Mentorship, and Education, where we teach the youth the significant and the very strong penal consequences associated if a kid were to get involved in gang crimes. Riverside County is the only county that has the GAME program or anything such like it. Imagine a prosecutor paired up with hardcore ex-gang members. Because we know that if I walk into a classroom and I talk to the kids and I say I'm a deputy district attorney, they're not going to want to listen to me. However, when the ex gang member come and talk to them about the harsh consequences they have suffered and how their lives has been affected by gang violence, how they have lost family members, it really touches our youth. We reach more people through the gang program than there even are documented gang members in Riverside County. We're not dealing with the typical nuclear family. We're dealing with kids whose parents are incarcerated, have addiction problems themselves. These are the families that we work with on a daily basis. But we're not just talking to the kids in an environment and you know, trying to coach them and trying to encourage them. We do that. We're in the schools. We're actually seeing how these kids live, how they operate on a daily basis. We get to know their friends. We get to know who they hang out with. We get to know how they think. Because the more we know about these kids, the more we know about their families, the better we're going to be able to help them. I think every kid who's gone through our program would tell you we've made some level of difference. We've helped kids every single day. There's one thing that I would like to tell kids that may be in some kind of situation that I was. I would like to say never to give up. It doesn't matter what the roadblock is. If you have the perseverance, you can get past that and accomplish anything you want to. I think that all of the district attorneys in that office care greatly about that risk youth. I really appreciate the attorneys in the crime prevention unit for giving me the opportunity to intern with them. I just graduated from Cal Baptist University and then going on to law school. I hope to later become a prosecutor in life. We're preventing crime before it happens. We're preventing a mother from losing a kid to incarceration. We're preventing somebody from being physically injured. We're preventing a homeowner from having to make an insurance claim. And it just runs that spectrum of really small things that we're doing to really grand things that we're doing. And that's what crime prevention is all about. If you were to ask any crime victim, what would you prefer? That you be a victim of a crime, and then later through the criminal justice process, we hold the criminal accountable for that crime? Or would you choose instead to not be victimized at all? I bet you 100% of the time that victim would say, I would prefer to have not been victimized. So I would submit to you that actually crime intervention and prevention 
is the purest and greatest form of justice. There's a great quote by a novelist, Graham Greene, that I love. It says, in every childhood, there's a, a moment when the door opens and lets the future in. The heart and soul of our crime prevention unit is that we are going to get to that kid before they get to that crossroads, and we're going to have an influence on them. We're going to fight for those kids. And the work that our crime prevention unit does, I can't tell you how proud I am of their work and of this unit because we are making a real difference in our community.